If you're self-employed and looking to get a mortgage, there's something important you need to know. You don't need to have a huge net income to get approved. In fact, there are two commonly used methods that can help you qualify even if your income on paper looks lower than you would like. In this video, I will explain to you both of these options so you can see how they might work for your situation. But first, if you enjoy this channel, please click like and subscribe so you don't miss any future updates. For now, let's get into mortgages for self-employed professionals. One of the biggest challenges for self-employed people is that tax write-offs often make your net income look lower than it really is. For a traditional employee, lenders can rely on a steady paycheck or a clear salary, but when it comes to self-employed, and you know this, it's way more complicated. In fact, you could have a great business, but show lower income on paper due to expenses or deductions or write-offs. This can make it seem like you don't qualify for a mortgage, but the good news is there are options tailored specifically for this. Regardless of the program, though lenders ideally want to see at least two years of business activity. So consider this as the baseline because the two year activity is pretty much non-negotiable unless your lender grants you an exception. You will show activity of these two years having your business properly registered, whether through a master business license, if you're a sole proprietor or articles of incorporation, if you are incorporated. You've got two main routes here available. Depending on how your income is structured, let's dive into both. Option number one, stated income with gross up. The first option we're gonna see here is with a prime lender, like one of the top five banks, for example. These lenders offer something called a stated income mortgage. Instead of just relying on the income you report on your tax returns, they allow you to gross up your income. This means that we take the income you show after deductions and increase it by a percentage, within reason of course, based on your business type. Now this option is available mainly for sole proprietor clients, not incorporated business. If you're a sole proprietor, you can often gross up your income to reflect what you actually earn before expenses. Now, what about if you're incorporated? Here's the key. If you're incorporated, you may still have options to gross up your income, but it will depend on showing strong financial corporate statements. Again, if you're incorporated, you might have the option of grossing up your salary and dividends earned from your corporation, but you will need to provide solid financial statements, things like balance sheet, income statement, and return earnings. These documents will give the lender a fuller picture of your financial health. So even if your tax return shows a lower net income, for example, your business financials can demonstrate that you're in a strong position to qualify for a mortgage. Let's say you're a freelancer or run a small business as a sole proprietor. Your annual net income might look modest after you've deducted expenses for things like office supplies, travel, equipment, and other costs. But with a stated income mortgage, a prime lender could allow us to adjust your income upwards. Usually they gross up by anywhere from 50 to 20%. And this will reflect more accurately your gross income before deductions. Now this could make all the difference in getting the mortgage you need. Let's look at option number two, and that's a cash flow based with B lenders. Some people like to call this program bank statement mortgages. This second option is with a more flexible lender, what we call a B lender. These lenders are great if your net income doesn't reflect the true health of your business. Instead of focusing only on your net income, B lenders will typically look at your business overall cash flow or revenue. And here's how it works. Instead of calculating your ability to repay a mortgage based on the income reported on your tax returns, we can use a large percentage of your business revenue as your qualifying income. This will allow to present a more forgiving, realistic picture of your income, especially if you have significant write-offs that reduce your net income. Let's say, for example, you own a seasonal business, say landscaping or a retail store. You might have fluctuating income throughout the year. Of course, you will have months that you have a lot of activity, but then you will have slower months. And your tax returns might not reflect your actual earning potential. A B lender looks at your cash flow over time and can use, say, 70, 80% of your business revenue as a basis for your mortgage approval. 
Now, this percentage of inclusion, the 70, 80 percent, in some cases, we can probably push it up to 85 percent. Depends on the nature of your business and the client would need to explain how they come to a rational to come up with that amount of profit. And again, this is especially helpful if you've been in business for at least two years and can show consistent growth. So let's summarize these two options and what's the difference between these two. One, prime lenders, top banks, if you're a sole proprietor, ideally you can use a stated income approach and gross up your income based on your business type. If you're incorporated, you can also access this program. You can still qualify using your corporate financials to justify your income. Prime lenders are a great choice, of course, as always, if you're looking for the best interest rate and terms, but they do require more documentation. Option number two with B lenders, more flexible, these lenders focus on your business cash flow and revenue. They apply a more forgiving income calculation and are ideal if your income is inconsistent or of course heavily reduced on paper due to expenses. And I'm gonna say in most cases, that's the case. The trade-off is that you may face slightly higher interest rates than a prime lender, but you get more flexibility. This is a common question that I often have is, what if my business is new or my income fluctuates heavily? The answer depends on how long you've been in business. Ideally, lenders want to see at least two years of consistent revenue or income to give you the best options. If you are a new business owner, don't worry, there are still paths you can take though the requirements might be a bit different. So remember, if you're self-employed and thinking about buying a home, refinancing, or securing another type of mortgage, you have more options than you might think. Take the time to explore what works best for your financial situation, whether it's working with a prime lender to gross up your income or using your business income cash flow with a B lender, there's always a way forward. That's it for today. Be sure to subscribe for more tips on navigating the mortgage process as a self-employed Canadian. See you next time.